So today I'm going to show you what you should do to get this up here. And plus there's actually a few more features you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone. As actually, it's actually through developer option. If you don't know how to turn this on, I will teach you how to turn this on right now. So you want to go into about phones and then you want to go to software information and then you want to go into building number and you keep tapping it until they ask you for a pin or your password. Press continue, press OK and now your developer options will be outside right there. Okay, right there. And now you can actually turn something on inside to make your phone much better, okay? So now, please subscribe my channel and share this video and I'm gonna teach you what you should do inside here. There's only a few features you need to pay more attention and then make your phone much better, all right? So the first thing is we need to go into your USB debugging. Okay, you must turn this on because if you actually want to read your um, hard drive, external hard drive and things like that, you need to turn this on in order to do something else. Or maybe even use a USB-C to USB-C to transfer from iPhone to here. You need to turn this USB debugging or else it doesn't read at all. So the next thing is we're going to go all the way to the bottom here. And then you can see there's like this, call, this thing called graphic driver. When you click into here, you can actually select whatever the app you want to use the graphic drivers. Let's just say if you have some games that you usually play, you can actually turn on as in the system graphic drivers. Okay, you can see these are default, but this one is using system graphic drivers. Or if you're using like a CapCut, you can use graphic drivers. So you can actually take a look in here, see which one you need for a system graphic drivers. Pretty, pretty simple. Now let's get out here and then we're gonna go into right here, okay? So we're gonna go all the way at the bottom here. And then you can see the animations right here. Window animations and transitions animations. Transition animation is if you actually go out, let's just say I go out, go back in, you can see it's still a little bit like laggy. But if you turn to 0.5, now when you get out, it's more snappier. In addition, if you do the window animation scale, so you can do it a little bit faster, so you can do it much, you can see it's actually much faster. Okay, so it might help you if you want to help your phone you know, run a little bit faster, if the feeling is a little bit faster, so you can do that. And now we're gonna go all the way down here. You want to see the background, okay? The background process limit. This one here is a little bit more important if your phone feel like a little bit slower because it's running a lot of processors inside your background. So you want to limit, okay? So no background processor, I don't trust that. I usually just go for the most four processors. That means four processors is running at the background, doesn't matter which app, then that way you can actually do it much faster. And in addition, if you exit that app, you, want, you don't want to keep it going. So it will destroy the activities once you close that app. The battery will be much better if you turn this on. So there's one more thing I would like to show you is, it's actually the refresh rate. So I need to go find this and the refresh rate should be at the top right here. Very last one, I actually find it. Okay, it's actually right underneath. It's actually pretty. And then you can see right below the graphic drivers, there's like this thing called show refresh rate. And you know, if you turn this on, it's not always 120 gig refresh rate. You can see it's only 60. Because it's not running anything, sometimes it's 24. So you can see, is it running a lot of battery because if it's you know, 120 gig refresh rate. So you have to take a look at this. But if I let's just say go out and do this, this is all 120 gig refresh rate. But sometimes if you're going to like YouTube and stuff like that, 
and when you start playing, it's actually not 120 gig refresh rate, okay? So you can see at the bottom here, you can see what refresh rate they are using at the top right there, all right? Please subscribe my channel and share this video and have a good day. You can see that even YouTube, they are not using uh, 120 gig refresh rate, they're only using 60 gig refresh rate, okay? So have a nice day, bye-bye, peace out.